Okay, let's talk palm rejection. Palm rejection. Okay, it might be hard to tell, but I'm basically laying my entire hand on that as I draw. Blah, 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 blah. You see that works perfectly. Also, amusingly, I can lay my entire palm of my hand on that without doing anything. If I put a finger on there, I'll get a line. If I put two fingers down, I'll get twist and zoom and whatever. In fact, if I lay my palm down, and do that, I'll get, I'll, I'll be able to, look at that, so it's it's rejecting my palm and also still allowing me to use my finger, which is pretty groovy, uh, but it, it's it's no problems with palm rejection. I think I've had a couple of problems before where it's done something weird where I think what's happened is I've kind of lifted my palm and left a finger there, like that, so it's, it's detecting there's a palm there, and then whenever I, I kind of lift the palm up, it and leave a trailing finger you'll get a little bit of like that but I mean how, how else would it tell if I leave my palm there and actually lift the finger you'll see it sort of so there's me moving my, my hand around there's me lifting now that's just the end of my finger I'm rubbing there and then if I do that then you'll see now it's just the fingertip so it's it's really pretty sweet anyway that's palm rejection on the iPad Pro